Hey everybody, Sky Spider here. Uh, today we got uh, some more stuff I've been putting off because I've been too sick. Uh, we're going to do my ants, some biggins, uh, a couple of assassin colonies, I think. And if I'm still feeling up to it, we got babies. So yet another busy day. These are my carpenter ants, also known as Ant Savage and the Build Team. Yes, that's a Mythbusters reference because they're carpenter ants. Um, I just gave them two half squished feeders to give them a little bit of a challenge. You can see they've been working on this one. I'm going to put a, uh, a time lapse photo of them going to town on it. And you'll see there's another cricket in here that they're taken down, but it's doing a good job of staying away as much as it can. So you may see that run through a couple times. Also gave them a fresh jelly cup today. So these ladies are enjoying that too. And then we'll take a little look into the colony right here. You can see we got all our eggs down on the human side here. Or no, not eggs, those are pupa. Very cool. You can see Aunt Savage is up there on the uh, big pile of eggs. She's the really big one that's not moving much. And then, yeah, they're just going to town in here today. Very excited about all the food they're probably hearing about. First one we got up today is a Pamphibodia species mascara. Oh my god, these are so beautiful when they get big. So since we're doing big ones, we have uh, adult dubias to feed with. Crickets are a little too small for these guys now. If you guys ever have suggestions for names for the ones I don't put names on, just let me know in the comments. We have too many spiders to always be able to name them all, so... Yeah, we don't always have great ideas. I just kind of use Magic the Gathering characters most of the time. So I don't know if we're going to get to see much more than a booty on this one. But this is Theraphosa Autophysis. I'm actually going to use my longer forceps here. That way I can get the feeder back out if she doesn't want it. Are you hungry? There we go. Good job. Looks like she might be entering pre-molt soon here. I have a feeling that might be her mature molt. We shall see. I'm also seeing quite a bit of pink on those legs. So it's not impossible that this is a male. I haven't really taken a good look in a while. So I'll just wait and find out when we get there. So here we have another Pamphibodius mascara. We we're hoping we might have a male in one of these two, but we got two females. Having trouble grabbing a dubia over here. Pretty sure she's going to be hungry. Oh, yeah. Very good girl. Man, that carapace orange is so pretty on these. I'm going back in your hide to eat. It's okay, I won't judge. Thanks for letting me watch. So pretty. So this is a fun one. This is one of our mature female 
Theraphosis Fermi. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to find her a boyfriend this malt. If anyone has a mature male Sturmi, let me know in the comments. Cleaning out her water dish a little bit. She threw some leaves in there. Uh, I'm not going to dump this out just because the, uh, the tannins from the leaves actually tend to keep the water much cleaner. Just something random I've experienced over the years. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give her two dubia today because she needs to put on some weight if she's going to be going into breeding. Oh, I never get tired of seeing the big ones eat. They may just be a big brown spider, but they are a beautiful big brown spider. And this girl is pushing about nine inches, I'd say. And as far as uh, sturm I go, that's about as big as I've seen them. All right, sweetie, you want another? Oh, yeah. You're not going to say no, are you? Ooh, that is one gross bolus. All right, back into the hide to eat. I have no idea what you've been kicking hair at, but you've been kicking hair at something. So yeah, this is the size enclosure I use for our goliaths. Uh, it's, I think, it's three feet by two feet, or three feet by a foot and a half. Uh, it gives them extra room to, to kind of wander if they want to. Uh, you'd be surprised how much they get up to at night once they come out of their burrows. Yeah, it gives them room for molting. You can give a bit more of a moisture gradient. Like you can see, it's more humid on this side and a bit drier up here. So she can kind of choose where she wants to go. Oh, we make it a happy dance here. Yeah, that bolus looked kind of squishy. Time to wrap that burrito up, huh? I should really set these to music. Have another fresh pajama day person. It's a grimace, my purple for Mictopus. But I just got a quick view of it outside the burrow, and I think I might have a mature male here. Thought this was a female the whole time. I normally don't move their hides, but I want to get a look here. No, that still looks like a female to me. Man, you're beautiful. Yeah, you still look female to me. Awesome. Oh, now we're just going to be all out. Works for me because I want pictures. Man, you're gorgeous. You might, might just be my uh, preview photo for the video. So yeah, wish Grimace here a very happy fresh pajama day. God damn, girl. So this is one of my mainstays. This is Meatball. She's a bit of an outreach spider since she's so gentle. But uh, during COVID, I've managed to find her a uh, pink phase male to mate with. Uh, she's actually really dull. She's normally bright ass pink. Might just be the angle on that. There we go. So these guys are notoriously hard to breed, which is why we have so few of them in the hobby anymore. But I'm um, doing my best. Uh, she mated with her boyfriend about four times before eating him. But he was only about half her size. So no clue if it'll do any good. We'll find out soon. See if she wants a cricket today. Did 
you get a meatball? Well, at least she's interested in it. If she didn't get it then, she'll get it in a bit. As some of you know, the spider is Ishkana. He's a bit of the uh, legend around the bug room. Very, very rare species, Grimmastola grossa. Uh, it's like an eight inch Grimmastola species. It's still fairly docile. Um, made two attempts to breed her with the same male in two molt cycles. Uh, she mated with him, produced no egg sac on the first one, and then mated with him and ate him on the second one. So there's a small chance that she's going to lay an egg sac, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Hopefully I can find another male. Just, they're hard to come by. She's got really, really beautiful red on the inside of her calisserae. I'm starting to think something happened to her when she molted and her fangs aren't on straight, though. She has a little bit of trouble taking down dubias. Like she always gets some, it's just a struggle. So yeah, I'm going to up the humidity on our next molt here. But knowing Grandma Stola's, that's at least a year and a half away, I bet. So here's another fun big one. This is a Chroma, my uh, Therapos apophysis female. She just molted a couple weeks ago. And she just tried to tear her molt to shreds as I removed it a minute ago. I guarantee she's going to eat. Well, my guarantees aren't good for much, I see. Let's try this again. A little closer this time, maybe. Well, what the hell? She needs to be eating larger prey because she's huge now. It's a smaller one. Or are you just pissed off because I came in and took your molt a minute ago? I think that might be it. Yeah, at least we can get a good look at her. She'll eat those later, I'm sure. And we are in the assassin bugs. Oh my god, these are so much fun. Um, I'm going to try giving them a couple adult dubia first. We might get to see them uh, riding rodeo here. There are a lot of times where I'll see like 10 assassins riding on run roach. Even babies. See, there's a couple on that one now. And yeah, they will just team up and suck them dry. I'm trying not to get my hands too close because these guys will jump a little bit. I actually just go with the zoom. That's better. Now my hand's about a foot away. Let's see, I've got one more adult dubia in here. Yep, as soon as they run into hiding, they're going to run into all the assassins. Man, they're just so vicious. Now it's just... Don't get a ton of crickets for the uh, smaller ones. Come on, crickets. Yeah, that one down here is just covered. One up top still just has two on it, but that can always change. Those are the only ones I can still see. The other ones all went inside the inside the hides. You'll see these guys try and pounce on each other, but they can't actually stab with their proboscis through the shell. Shell, sorry, the exoskeleton. So I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but my, my, I feel terrible. Um, 
it's one of the wonderful parts of being disabled. Um, so I think that's all I've got the energy for today. Uh, tomorrow we'll catch up on the babies. I think I got to feed roaches. Um, yeah, we'll see what has what, what I have to do tomorrow, and we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I'll see you guys on the next one.